Here we go. Mr. Speaker, on Friday evening last, I received His Majesty's commission to form a new administration. It was the evident wish and will of Parliament and the nation that this should be conceived on the broadest possible basis and that it should include all parties. A war cabinet has been convened. Um, uh, no, uh, 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 correction. Has been formed. Formed. A war cabinet has been formed of five members representing with the opposition parties the unity of the nation. Read. The three party leaders have agreed to serve either in the war cabinet or, or in, in high, high executive, executive office. office. With this agreement in place, I now invite the House by the resolution which stands in my name to recall <laughs> its approval and to declare its confidence in the new government. <laughs> yes! I'm coming out in a state of nature. <laughs> It must be remembered that we are in the preliminary stage of one of the greatest battles in history and that many preparations have to be made here at home. Sir, I take up my task with uh, buoyancy and hope and say to the House, as I have said to those who have joined the government, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. We have before us an old deal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many long months of struggle and of suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by sea land and air with all our might and with all the strength that God can give us to wage war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalogue of human crime. That is our policy. You ask, uh, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, victory, victory at all costs, victory in spite of all terror, victory however long and, and hard the road may be, for without victory there can be no survival. Consent. <coughs> we have to start, start somewhere. somewhere.